Welcome to part two of Nose Cones in Fusion 360. In the last video, we saw the uh, add-in installation and its options. And in this video, we're going to put it all together by creating a nose cone such as the one you see here. So stay tuned. Okay, so to build our nose comb, we're going to start with a fresh project. And I'm going to create the sketch as we saw in the previous one. I'll just select a plane. And we'll run the nose comb generator. Now for this example, I'm going to use the nose cone I created for an actual project which was designed around a 29 millimeter um, paper body tube that's produced by Apogee Components. Uh, but the same principles obviously are gonna apply with others. Now the key difference between what you're gonna get from the nose cone generator and what we're gonna get as a finished product is there is also going to be a portion for attaching a shock cord so that it's an actual usable nose cone. Okay, so let's start with the parameters and sequence. Uh, this, uh, nose is going to have an elliptical shape and again based on my project requirements it's 115 millimeters long and a reminder you can use other units in here if you want to put it in inches just type in afterwards but for me millimeters is what I use the radius so remember this is a radius so it's going to be half the diameter 14.95 in this case it's not exactly um, 29 millimeters it's uh, a little bit off from that Okay, I don't want it solid. I want to give it a thickness. But I find two millimeters is a little bit too thick. Obviously, uh, the thicker it is, the heavier it is, but you don't want it too flimsy either. I do find one and a half millimeters is a good compromise. Uh, but you may want to see what your uh, material and your printer produce to select a good value there. I'm also going to have a shoulder. 30 millimeters, that's basically one body caliber, so that's a good length. I'm going to stick it with that. And again, with the radius, I am going to have the inner tube diameter minus just a little bit, so it'll fit snug, uh, but uh, not too tight. Okay, so we have our nose cone. Now you can see the transition here is actually pretty small. As I zoom in, we do have a shoulder. It's not a huge one, but remember, this is just for a paper body tube, so we're not expecting that. So I'll stop the sketch. And as I showed you before, we will do a revolve. Okay, so we've got our profile selected. If I select the axes and select OK. Okay, so one nose cone. As we can see, it's also hollow. That's a bit upside down, so I'm going to flip this. There, we have a nice shadow in the right place. Okay, so given that this is hollow, in order to attach a shock cord, I want the base to be solid. So I'm going to select, I'm going to have to zoom in a bit here to grab it, the base of that, draw a sketch on here. And what I'm going to do is draw a circle that will fill in the base. So using the Fusion 360 shortcut of C, I select the center, and then I go out to the inner diameter. Okay, that's it, stop the sketch. And what I want to do is extrude that, and I'm going to use a thickness here of three millimeters. Okay, so I hit Q to extrude, select the plane. Now it wants to extrude out. What I want to do is make it extrude backwards. So I'll just push it the other way. I'm going to go to a depth of three millimeters. I find that that's a, a nice thickness for this style of nose cone. Obviously, the thickness is going to depend on your needs for a high power rocket. For example, you're going to want something a little bigger than three millimeters, so it withstands the force of ejection. Okay, but this is a smaller rocket running on a C motor. A three millimeter depth is fine. So now what I want to do is create basically a circular cutout with the post across the side. And I'm going to do that in two parts, which is to say I'm going to do it in one part and then mirror it. Okay, so I will select that and draw a sketch. 
Okay, now here, instead of the circle, I'm actually going to draw an arc. Okay, so I'm going to do the center point arc. Let's start from here. I'm going to specify a radius of 12 millimeters, and then I draw my arc. Okay, so now I have the arc. I'm going to connect the two points of the arc with a line. So I'm going to hit the L shortcut, which switches to a line, and go from one end of the arc to the other. Okay, escape. Now I want to make sure that that line is horizontal, so I'll select the horizontal constraint. And I also want this post to be a very specific thickness. Now it's going to be four millimeters wide, which means it's going to be two millimeters from the center line. So I want to set that distance. And I do that by using the D keyboard shortcut. I will select one of the endpoints and the center point. And then I'm going to move this distance out to the side and I will set that to two millimeters. Okay, so there we have the constrained sketch. I can stop the sketch, select that, and again hit Q for push pull. In this case, I'm going to cut it. So again, I go in three millimeters, and we can see that the operation here is cut. Okay, so now we have that hole. I want to mirror that on the other side of the base. And just selecting this is a bit of a pain, so I'm going to rotate it around a bit and zoom in. And I select the edges of that shape by holding down the Command key on uh, the Mac. I believe that would be the Control key on the Mac but I haven't used this on Windows for a bit, so um, verify that. And what I want to do is mirror that, okay? So under the Create, select Mirror. And you can see we have the two objects selected. Now we want to select the mirror plane, which is the uh, plane that bisects this base. Okay, so I hit Select, and you can see it shows up on the inside, so it's a bit of a pain you want to submit, uh, select the uh, plane that um, bisects it from left to right. And you can see we get the uh, mirrored image down below. Select OK, and that's it. We now have a working nose cone. We can attach a shock cord to that uh, piece around the bottom. And the nice thing about this from a 3D printing point of view is you can print this on the base standing up, and you have a nice, useful nose cone. That's it, nice and simple. So uh, if you like what you see, uh, hit subscribe, thumbs up. Um, if you wanna see more, obviously PayPal and Patreon are encouraged and links for that are below. If you wanna get this macro, it is on my website, the link is below. And uh, if you wanna see how to install and use it, you'll need to refer to part one of this video, which is also linked below. So uh, have fun building your nose cones and above all, have fun flying.